Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode. Today we're going to be discussing temperatures. Uh, all well, about the Pajero after I've done all the modifications to see if it was actually worth it. So what I've installed is a five row radiator and a front mount intercooler setup. So yeah, this is my studio. Hey guys, so it doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to be sitting right there and it's going to be my shed for today. I got some new kicks for the Pajero and yeah, they look pretty good. 275 65 18s and falcon wild peaks highly rate them but anyway let's get into today's video also just quickly before we get into the video i have installed a high flow air filter um, it's just on ebay it's not a K&N one because they are super expensive but i got this one oh just look at that got this one for 70 dollars on ebay so I'll leave the link in the description and you guys can see it. It just um, gives you more airflow. However, this is a, a high flow air filter. If you're going off-road a lot, I would just chuck the original filter in because this one can let your engine become dusty if you go off-road. So just put your um, original one in just so it can block the dust. But if you're just traveling from, you know, from home to work on, on the highway and everything, this high flow air filter is awesome, makes a bit more induction noise and it's just my airflow is a better response. So definitely recommend it. Alrighty guys, so before we get into today's video, I wanna give away a free OBD2 scanner. Um, it's really easy to use. You just plug it into your OBD port of your vehicle, connect it to an app like Talkit um, or any OBD application and then you are able to see all the temperatures from your vehicle. So yeah. All you got to do is three things, so subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below why you would like to see your temperatures. So yeah, that's all you need to do, so let's get into it. Alrighty, now let's talk temperatures. Now, so I've mentioned two things, I've upgraded to a front mount intercooler on my car and also a five row radiator. So it's two big upgrades. First and foremost, if you're gonna be towing over two tons and ideally you wanna go low on transmission temperatures, this won't do it for you. The biggest modification I would suggest is getting a lockup kit. Now, I'm only towing a small 500 kilo trailer, so I don't think the lockup kit in my case is worth the money. So instead I just got the front mount intercooler just to be a bit more reliable I would say because with the Pajeros the stock mount is like way down there it's like just behind the bash plate which is not a good spot because it doesn't get a lot of flow and it's prone to damage so that's why I've got the front mount it's out of the way much better intake temperatures and um, yeah it's just more reliable in my sense and then the radiator as well will keep the cooler nice and cool and it's also connected to the transmission cooler which will ultimately make the temperature for the transmission cooler in that sense. For this episode we're going to be using this ultra gauge so as you can see it shows the engine coolant, intake and my PSI and then transmission and the pan so 51 degrees and 59 degrees. So yeah I'll be going off that in the video. Now let's start off with a few things. Now I couldn't film off-road because unfortunately after the floods Bribe Island is still closed so I wasn't able to get on on the beach but I think it will be much the same as going up a steep hill and um, you know where the temperatures will rise a bit but yeah I'm not too fussed about that but I did have the chance to film going on the highway at 110 kilometers an hour and traffic conditions and going on a steep hill so first up there was a video now yes it did come up shaky so instead of showing you the video where i talk it's yeah it's just not gonna work so i'll just tell you the figures so on the highway at 110 kilometers an hour the coolant was sitting at 84 degrees transmission at 69 and intake 39 so that's very good, especially the intake. I've had a chat to some Pajero owners and their stock Pajero is set at like 100 degrees for an intake. So that's three times the amount almost that I'm getting, which is insane. So it's definitely better for the engine to have that cooler air going through it. 
in traffic conditions it's spiked up a tiny bit luckily this video came out all right so have a look Alrighty guys, so um, we're now stuck in traffic, which is a good opportunity for me to speak, I guess, without the camera shaking. Basically, the highest temps that I've seen for coolant was 85 and intake was 45 degrees. Um, so yeah, that's really not bad at all. And um, transmission temps at the moment is 70. Um, so yeah, traffic conditions, it will go up a tiny bit as to, you know, driving quick um, to get that airflow. And yeah guys, that's really not bad. It's 31 degrees outside, um, if you're wondering about the temperature. And yeah guys, but yeah, so far it's really good. Hasn't gone up past 90 degrees, so I'm pretty happy. This is after driving for 50 minutes. So yeah, not too bad. Awesome, so there you go. So traffic conditions, it's not too bad. It does go up a tiny bit, but that's, as I said, due to the restricted airflow. Now the next one was the heel. Now this video was also a bit shaky so I'll just tell you the figures. Now it was a very steep hill and I've been running the car for an hour prior to that hill so the engine was nice and warm. So this was actually very surprising. Going up the hill the coolant sat at 79 degrees. The intake was at 41 which is a tiny bit higher because uh, I went on that hill for 80 kilometers an hour but I put my foot flat and it was going a tiny bit more than 80 um, but yeah I just wanted the engine to work very hard to get up the hill just so to see what the temperatures will be and then last but not least the transmission temperature that was 65 so going up a steep hill temperatures setting very nice and cool that is pretty awesome it did rise up to 81 in coolant from 79 as I was going up but the intake stayed at 41 and transmission stayed at 65. So that's very good to know that it didn't increase a lot, uh, which is very good. Awesome, well there you have it guys. So overall, coolant temperature is between 80 and 85 degrees. Intake temps is between 35 and 45 degrees, which is awesome. And then last but not least, between 65 and 75 degrees. So overall guys, I definitely recommend getting a radiator upgrade and the intercooler as well because number one, it's more reliable and number two, you're gonna get way more airflow. So yeah, it's just it's just great. I absolutely rate it. But if you're gonna be towing a big van over, I would say one and a half, two tons, then I would definitely go with a lockup kit that's just gonna reduce your temperatures way way down low with transmission there you guys thanks so much for joining in have a good one and i'll see you in the next one peace out